Welcome to the What's Up Ready podcast, where we fashion ourselves cinematic judge and jury. My name is JJ Carter. I'm here with my co-host, Javier Ortiz. What is up, my nerds? And Ian Anderson. Some shit. We appreciate help going the podcast. Go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, and bell notification button so you can follow up with all of our spoiler-free reviews. Go check out our website, whatsupready.com, where you can sign up for our newsletter to get exclusive content and updates, pick up some sweet, sweet merch, and interact with us. Uh, also, don't forget to leave a comment down below. We want to know what you think of these movies, too. So the question we always ask, if you ever find yourself wondering if you should spend the time, money, or both on a movie, to help with that question, each week we put a movie on trial, discuss the facts, pass judgment, and let you know our verdict. Today we're reviewing Scream. It was released January 14th, 2022. It was written by James Vanderbilt and Guy Busick. It was directed by Matt Vitinelli Open and Tyler Gillette. It stars Melissa Barrera, Jack Quaid, Mikey Madison, Jenna Ortega, Mason Gooding, Jasmine Savoy Brown, David Arquette, Courtney Cox, and Nev Campbell. 25 years after the original series of Murders in Woodsboro, a new ghost face emerges, and Sidney Prescott must return to uncover the truth. This is our spoiler-free review. Uh, we will rate this movie on a three-tiered scale, worth it, meaning you should watch this movie as soon as possible, stream it, meaning you can wait until you can watch it for free, and finally not impressed, meaning you shouldn't watch this movie at all. You can listen to our deep dive review on Scream on Monday, January 31st, uh, so check that out wherever you listen to podcasts. So with that, let's dive into our spoiler-free territory. Um, I'll go first because I've kind of got a little. Well, I got two things I got to talk about. Apology. The first one is, yeah, I, I need to start with a public apology to Javier because <laughs> this will go into my spoiler-free. Like, look, I'm a I'm a huge Scream fan. Fan. The original came out, you know, when I was a much younger man, and I enjoy horror movies. And this one was really fun because it made fun of slasher films at the time like how you know by then jason like 27 had come out so it's you know it, it was making fun of the fact that there's sequels and there's horror movies and how do you survive them and the different tropes that are in all of those and it made fun of itself in the genre and of course it was written and directed uh, by wes craven the late great master of horror so it was really fun and it was cool but that's the thing is these were funny had some comedy interlaced with the horror and the violence was that way too. In the original, like there was far less, like this is a different time. Nowadays we get away with a lot more gore. So I, I've been working really hard to get Javier softened up to some horror movies and I've worked on it with some TV shows that he enjoyed. And I've really kind of pushed him into some horror that he wasn't ready for and didn't want to do. And then this movie ruined all of his trust in me <laughs> so i apologize javier i did not expect what we watched <laughs> yeah me neither actually that you bring that up jj because i was promised a comedy horror movie and i could say there's a lot more horror than there was comedy yeah so, it, it was definitely not the movie i was anticipating apology not accepted yeah <laughs> <laughs> I did not anticipate that it got, would be accepted, but I got bait and switched into this friggin' slasher film. Yeah. So leaning into my spoiler free, this is not while it has elements of it. And obviously there's going to be things. If you're a scream fan, all of the four previous movies, there's going to be pieces of that that will, it feels like scream. The great characters are back. There's even references to characters that are, from the originals that have you know died off in subsequent films and things like that so lots of callbacks and really fun so if you're a fan of scream it's an enjoyable movie but i will warn you this is not your typical scream movie the violence is in your face gory rough and it's pretty intense i mean even the original scream was tense at moments but this movie's pretty intense from start to finish i mean it, it puts its foot on the gas pretty early and doesn't let up much at all um and i think that's partly to the acting i thought the acting especially from the younger ones the new was pretty good even for a crappy horror movie that you know was made to be campy and and silly it it really leaned into it so i enjoyed it but that you know i think that comes from rose colored glasses because i was watching this movie and this franchise that i've grown up with and there's been some pretty bad elements in a couple of those previous to this but this one really was really fun and even like the making fun of itself was still there and enjoyable um i'm not going to say it's a worth it because i i just can't say go out and spend money at a theater for this but uh, it was fun and i will definitely give it a stream it but that's as that's as good as it gets from me 
Um, Unless you can trick some poor soul uh, who doesn't like horror movies into watching it with you. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sure that, that, that made it so much funnier. You know, I, I want to say that it normally would, but I was, I actually, and normally like, I don't feel guilty at all. Like when I had you over for the ha haunting of Hill house, no guilt whatsoever. Like that was fun. Every time you jumped was entertaining because you were enjoying it and you were letting something new soak into your system. This one, I just felt like an asshole the whole movie. Like I, cause it was not I'm so glad we're on the same page there though. No, absolutely. Like seriously, <laughs> once we got past that introduction part, cause I knew that was coming once that ended and it started to get serious and seriously. Wow. Violet. I was like, Oh, I fucked up. I was like, Javier's never going to trust me on anything ever again on horror movies. So it, it wasn't as fun as I had hoped. So, all right, Ian, give us your spoiler free and we'll finish off with poor Javier. Yeah, I think it's funny because JJ did what a good horror movie does. Kind of like lulls them into being comfortable and then strikes when you least expect it. So <laughs> Javier just got That's horror fair. movie or whatever the verbiage is for that. That's fair. Um, I've never seen a scream movie, so I kind of just didn't have a lot of expectations going into this. Um, but it's kind of what I expected. I saw a lot of people <laughs> get brutally murdered. Um, there was surprising more amount of jokes than I was expecting. Cause again, I'd never seen the prior ones. Um, yeah, that's that's kind of it. That's what you're going to get. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it uh, without going into more spoiler territory. But um, I'm kind of in the stream at camp as well. If you're a big fan of horror, like, yeah, give it a shot. Um, I don't think it's that great. Like, it's not something to go out to the theater for. Um, and if you're Javier, don't ever see it. So if you keep kind of <laughs> aligned with him, we're pretty sure yeah, we know I what's really going to go from there. Me. <laughs> somebody made your choice that's always unfortunate <laughs> i would have loved to have the freedom of choice uh when it came down to that but you know yeah that's white I, people you know, right and the crazy piece was is i thought i was doing you a favor <laughs> white people, because like i'm like okay we'll do we'll do this one because it'll be funny and i won't push for the black phone which is the one i'm really looking forward to but that one looks terrifying like it looks like it's got some great scare and i was like no i'm not going to torment him with that i think that one probably would be easier to take than this scream movie was for you because it just yeah it was rough anyway all right javier <laughs> bring us home buddy i almost didn't go see this movie i was almost like yeah i'm not going <clears throat> i did say i'm not going and the judge is like really it's not going to be that bad and i'm like all right yeah. And uh, it starts off bad, and then it gets progressively worse until I get to go home. <laughs> and so it was a terrible alone movie. by yourself. <laughs> alone, I got to drive home alone by myself. <laughs> Luckily, my wife was home when I got here, but I was just like, I had to listen to like comedians on the way home. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, terrible movie. I do not recommend this. I can't even look at this from a third party like objective view because i was just so wronged by this movie uh that i can't even tell you if like the acting was good or anything i i i'm gonna have to take jj's word for it but this is getting a not impressed from me never gonna watch it again can't wait to get into the deep dive so we can just absolutely tank our rating on this thing don't go watch this movie if you have any aversion to horror movies it doesn't don't let your friends trick you into it it's bad and if they <laughs> tell you it's not that bad they're lying to you that's fair or they so haven't from, seen it from javier we'll we're talking about we'll, we'll, we'll see if this works but from javier we gotta not impressed yeah <laughs> i love it <laughs> <laughs> So, oh man, it's just, oh. yeah, I feel so bad. Well, and then I was laughing because we didn't think you were going to be able to record with us for this. So on the second end, I was like, man, he watched that for nothing. And then 
even worse than that, I was like, well, we can get Alec to record with us. And then I'm like, Alec's not going to see this shit either. No, because he he, he's as bad as, as I am. You. And I was like, so we're not, and I can't even be in Arizona to coerce him to go see it. Like, it's just <laughs> not going to happen. So I was like, oh, damn. Was, wait. So I was going to make, until we decided you were going to be able to, I was going to make Casey go watch it. And then I was going to have two people that hated me for it. <laughs> so No, I took one for the team. Yeah. And- <laughs> <laughs> not good not good all right but this is now going to be a uh a non-horror podcast that i'm really excited about yeah <laughs> <laughs> oh shit no more horror movies and i barely got any horror out of you anyway so Dude, I, you that's got like 30 so... hours of horror out of me i still think about? i'd get the tv shows out of you come on dude kebabs and you know the, the show is at least going to be good i mean is it though? Because the first one was good, and I've just been waiting for that to come around again. The second series, let's be honest, JJ, was was not that great. It wasn't right? as no, okay. The second one wasn't as good as the first by any means, but the no. third one was pretty bad. The third, uh, and well, that's uh, where I was going. The third yeah. one like wasn't good. Yeah, the third the acting yeah. was good, but the story was just ridiculous. It was a so. I'm weird. like, if we're going in this pattern and like started here, and now we're here, and now we're here, I'm like, what's next? Yeah, how much farther well, down do we is- have to go? You just get your <laughs> kebabs and to hang out, you know. So anyway, yeah, that's true. That's funny. All right. Well, there the it true is. Horror is talking politics with Casey. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Especially for me, because I gotta freaking sleep. <laughs> that's true. I could just leave, just drop yeah. a grenade and walk away. <laughs> like, oh, good did. night, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's dangerous for me. I oh, mean. Uh, yeah, right. you better be careful, JJ. Javier's got a grudge now, so he might be dropping some bombs before he leaves. Uh, yeah, dude. So from now on, any horror movie you want to watch, we are going to go watch it in a basement. Oh, I hate you so much. <laughs> but, but I'll think about it. But I'll think about it. Oh, I thought that'd be a hard no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing to face my fears to get you to face yours. <laughs> That might make it worse for me, though. Go watch it in a dark basement. Yeah. Just so you know, you'll have to deal deal with me being fidgety and jumpy on top of the movie making you Good. fidgety and jumpy. Good. Um, yeah, I hate basements, so there it is. All right, so there's our spoiler-free review for Scream. Uh, if you love horror, and you, especially if you love the Scream franchise, go check the movie out. It's fun. If you don't like horror, I don't. Just don't go near this one. Like, it's not okay. So there it is. Uh, next week, our spoiler free that you'll watch, well, coming out soon. I shouldn't say next week. Our spoiler free is kind of come out as they come out, but it'll be uh, the Tender Bar be released a little later. And then Jackass will be another one that's coming soon. So, yeah. About I'm time. So excited. Uh, we get to finally do that one. Um, yeah, that gets released soon. So there it is. All right. Again, if you got let us know what you thought of Scream or our love hate abatements and horror movies down in the comments. Um, yeah, we appreciate you tuning in. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye now. Cinematic out.